Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Susie Thompson. The big four banks have fallen into line behind the RBA, hiking mortgage rates by a quarter of a percent. Suncorp and Macquarie Banks have also followed suit and Judo Bank economic advisor Warren Hogan says there could be more pain on the way with another rate rise forecast. I just can't see us getting this economy back into balance, that is just slowing the demand in the economy and getting that inflation down um, without an interest rate of around three and a half or four percent. I'd love to be wrong. I'd love to think the economy will have a nice gentle soft landing next year. The Productivity Commission wants to see major overhauls to the education system. The body is calling for longer school days, letting students progress on ability, not age, and guaranteed access to qualified teachers. An interim report suggests schools could change drastically over the next two decades. The death toll of Hurricane Ian has risen to 100 as crews in Florida search for survivors. Rescuers are going door-to-door discovering more deaths. Days after the storm made landfall, some island residents are still cut off from the mainland and hundreds of thousands remain without power. A new report suggests China has been running a campaign in the Solomon Islands blaming Australia, the US and Taiwan for major riots that rocked the capital of Honiara last year. Four people were killed in the unrest. Australia sent police and soldiers to keep order. The Nobel Prize in Physics has gone to three researchers for their work in quantum mechanics. The trio from universities in France, the US and Austria worked on how particles interact and behave like one unit, even when they're far apart. They'll split the prize evenly, worth nearly $1.5 million. And billionaire Elon Musk is reportedly planning to go ahead with his deal to buy Twitter. Trading on the social network stocks has been halted as a result. Musk agreed to the deal earlier in the year, but tried to back out, sparking a lawsuit. In sport, Panthers coach Ivan Cleary has pounced on criticism of his team's celebrations after the grand final win win over the yields. He's suggesting the knockers are jealous of their success. Nick Kyrgios has doubted his Taiwanese opponent in straight sets to progress to the round of 16 at the Japan Tennis Open. Australian wicketkeeper Alyssa Healy says the changing of the guard this summer is a good opportunity for the squad. Meg Lanning is taking a break. Rachel Haynes has retired and Shelley Nitschke is the new coach. Healy says it gives them a chance to re-establish the group. Head off to India, play Pakistan here at home and then got a T20 World Cup in, in South Africa. So it's a great opportunity for us to show what we're, what we're made of and, and a great opportunity for some young players to step up and um, take on some leadership roles or, you know, grab those opportunities with bat and ball. So it's exciting. In entertainment news, it seems Tom Brady and Giselle Bunchen are heading for Splitsville. The Hollywood couple had been rocky for a few months with Brady coming out of a very short-lived NFL retirement. They've now reportedly called in the divorce lawyers. Courtney Kardashian has given an update on her IVF journey with husband Travis Barker after hitting the pause button. The Hollywood star says it took too much of a toll on her health and mental health, and if it's meant to be, it will be. And Coldplay has hit the pause button on their tour in Europe as singer Chris Martin battles a serious lung infection. And that's the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you later on for another update. I'm Susie Thompson.